Hey guys, it's Issa. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're returning. Today I am going to be doing a first impressions slash review on it's the Converse Run Star Motion shoe. And this is the shoe right here. Well, the shoe box. Cha ching. I got these shoes all the way back in like I want to say August. But I haven't worn them yet. Sorry, I gotta fan myself because it's a little hot. And this is the packaging right here. And I obviously have opened the shoe box already a few times. This is the shoe. Now, I have to say, I have to say I do love the shoe. This is what it looks like. And it has the Converse logo right here, All Star. This is the back, and it has a cute little star on the back. The side looks like this, and I just love the style of this shoe. But this shoe was running from $120, I believe, on the Converse website. And when I tell you the shoe was sold out, it was like sold out. I literally kept checking to see when they were going to release the new shoes again because literally it was selling out back to back to back to back. And luckily for myself, I was able to get a discount on the shoe and I got, you know, a little $10 discount, student discount. And I was so happy because I just kept looking and looking and looking for discounts. And I believe if you go on the Converse website, if you are a student, you get a discount for being a student. So you guys make sure y'all go ahead and get any discounts that y'all can. And it's not a shoe that I would typically get, to be honest with you. But... I'm trying to give y'all like a good close-up look of the shoe. As y'all can see, this right here is not really a white color. It's more so like a cream color. And I really like the cream, how it goes well with the color on the bottom. I have not worn these shoes yet. I feel like I'm trying to find the perfect outfit to wear them with. But of course, y'all know me. Some leggings and a crop top works perfectly well for me to wear with these shoes and a cute little hairstyle. So, the one thing that I wanted to go ahead and mention is that the shoe does run big. If you are a Converse wearer, you know the Converse shoes run big anyway. So, you might want to size down half a size or maybe even a full size down i got these shoes in a size six in men's which is a seven and a half in women seven and a half in women so i went a half a size down but typically i would be a seven and a half anyway depending on what the shoe is but usually with converse i would have to size down because of the fact that the shoe runs big honestly it fits to the t but to be honest with you I would have been able to slide in wearing a size 7. Depending on the type of feet that you have, like for me, I have small chubby feet. So I have to, you know, go ahead and make sure that the shoe fits in wideness, I guess I, I would say. Which, obviously this is a chunky shoe, but if you put your foot inside of it, it you will know that it's a pretty like tight spacing in between but that doesn't mean that it's not a comfortable shoe to wear because it is definitely very very comfortable to wear i am gonna go ahead and try on the shoe so you guys can go ahead and see what the shoe looks like on my feet unfortunately i am not going to be giving you guys you know like a try on haul or anything like that when it comes to styling the shoe but you guys will get to see what they look like i'm about to put them on so i've decided to go ahead and rearrange the way the shoe came and make it like this to make it a little more you know fresh looking and for me i've decided to go ahead and just make sure that the shoes i mean the shoe string was on the outside like that y'all yeah, know to try to make it look more cool even though the shoe itself is already cute and um i went outside and i walked around in them and they are very very comfortable to walk around with i do notice that they make a little bit 
<laughs> Sorry y'all, I'm out of breath. I've been running up the stairs trying to get this video together. But I've been walking around in them. I do notice that they make a little bit of a squeaky noise when you're walking around, you know, the house, walking around the building and things of that nature. And, um... I don't know what you would do to kind of get rid of it does make a little bit of a noise i would say maybe put a little bit of oil on the shoe not a lot like a drastic but i'm thinking maybe if you put a little bit of oil it will be able to help combat that squeaky noise problem but y'all let me know what y'all do to avoid the noises but i'm feeling these shoes you guys let me know what you guys think about these shoes you know i got these shoes like i said a little while back I haven't worn them yet but I'm looking forward to wearing them for me personally I would not wear them with these leggings because these leggings are a little bit too short for my liking when it comes to wearing it with these shoes but that's all right you guys like for me personally I would like to go ahead and wear my shoes with the leggings that are a little bit longer so that they could fit inside of the actual like I guess not the sole of the shoe but like the inside the top part of the shoe I want the shoe to connect with the bottom of my leggings and I want my leggings to be tucked inside the shoe that's just me personally but I really do like the shoes I think they're so cute a lot of people don't like them but like I said look I love shoes. I love different kinds of shoes and I don't like to look like everybody else and it's weird because this shoe was sold out when I was like trying to find it but I haven't seen anybody in my area purchase these shoes. So that's very interesting to me. But I really like the shoe. They're not heavy at all whatsoever to walk in. They're very lightweight, very comfortable. That sound make sure that you size a half size down if it is that your feet run small you know your foot so if your foot your foot don't run small don't go trying to squeeze into a smaller size now um i've done it trust me it takes a long time to break that in okay <laughs> But yeah, you guys, let me know if you guys have decided to purchase this shoe. I am not whatsoever a sneaker head person on YouTube, but depending on the kind of shoe that they have, I will definitely come on and talk about it. I've done shoe reviews before on this channel, and I want to start doing them again for the shoes that I have purchased because why not okay so thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know if you guys have got the shoe if you guys like the shoe what you don't like about the shoe and i will see you guys in the next one